Hello. So, just wanted to share some things. First of all, freaking check out my hat. Okay. Now, check out this. That is a freaking John Elway signature on my brand new Boston cap. So excited. So, my dad's friend, um, his boss, I believe it's his boss, but anyway, uh, she went to Boston um, a week ago and they totally brought me back in a Boston cap. And the reason why I love this cap so much is not because of the Red Sox. I must admit, I've never watched a professional baseball game my entire life. But I'm going to go to a Rockies game because obviously I'm, I'm a Colorado native. Um, but I'm going to go just pretty much for the hot dog and the experience. But that's fine. And I think I'll wear my Boston cap. Back to point. Um, so, many people may or may not have known that I broke up with my boyfriend. Um, over almost three years of a relationship there. And I have grown a lot from it. Um, realistically, if I look down to myself, I feel like I've known for a while that it wasn't going to work. And I think because of the lack of confidence that I had in myself to do things on my own was what prolonged it to go keep going. And that's not fair and that's not right, but it is what it is. Um, I was scared to be by myself. Uh, I moved out of my, my parents' house when I was 19. I lived with my brother for a month or two before he met his wife. And then they moved out. And then shortly after that, I met him, and he moved into my house, and it's just like life happens so fast. But I didn't give myself a chance to find out what I wanted, um, to find out my expectations, and all sorts of those things. And so things happened, and it wasn't bad 100% of the time, but it wasn't always what it should have been, I guess is the best way. Okay, part one of that story. Going back, there is a Kenny Chesney song. Um, it's called Boston, and he only plays this song in Boston. Now, if I could go anywhere in the United States, I would literally go to Boston, Massachusetts a thousand times over. I've never been there, but I'm in love with that city, and I have no idea. I've never been there. Anyway, so combination of all those things. And basically in this song, um, I'll link it in this video. We'll wait for the clock. Um, so I'll just follow up with the, what I'm doing here in this setting in a second. I'm just gonna pause it. Okay, now that the clock's done. Anyway, in this Boston sign, I'll link it, but you have to listen to it. And it just has spoken a lot to me in this journey. Um, and basically, one of the choruses of the song is uh, she wears her Red Sox cap to hide her baby dreads. Literally, if I leave my hair down all day, I kid you not, there's people that will speak for me for this. I literally get dreads in my hair. Whether I, if I curl it or if I leave it like my natural wave curl, it's insane. So anyway, it just spoke to me a lot. So I totally have my Red Sox cap. And I freaking kid you not, yesterday I was at the U.S. Senior Open at the Broadmoor in Colorado Springs, which is probably never, ever going to happen again. John Elway signed my hat and he didn't even, I didn't let him see that it was a Boston hat because obviously I just wanted his signature but now my hat is like if like I had the holy grail and that was a real thing it was like oh my gosh okay anyway so I have moved back into my parents house I'm literally living out of their basement um, they're so very nice to me to give me a closet and a bedroom, um, and it's really awesome. Um, there's another song called by Miranda Lambert called uh, The House That Built Me, and I totally feel like that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm coming back to center to what I want, coming back to center to find out not necessarily where I went wrong, but where, what well, I can't explain it, but... Anyway, but I don't feel like I've taken a step backwards. I've sold my townhouse, excuse me, to my townhouse. Um, I close at the end of July. I am literally homeless. Um, as far as my home search, I keep getting a lot of no's with it. Uh, no, you can't do that. Nope, you don't qualify for this. Nope, can't do that. And it's like, nope, nope, that has eight offers on it and blah, 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 blah. It's fun. It's a learning process because I'm not very good at taking no for an answer. I'm just not. I won Best of the Springs second place and I cried. 
and I don't even, I'm not even as sad about it, I'm just saying that I suck at it. So, yeah. And I must mention that I did go see Kenny Chesney, Thomas Rhett, Old Dominion, Brandon Lay. He might be big one day, whatever, but I did see them in concert this weekend at Sports Authority Field. Then John Elway, then Boston. It was a hell of a weekend. So anyway, I'm on a whole personal branding kick, and I think it's very important that I share where I'm at mentally. It's overwhelmingly busy. That's the best thing I could put it. And it's not busy as in like, I'm so stressed out and all this good stuff. My life is very busy and in a good busy. I have, I used to, six months ago, try to take a nap every single day, like just from pure exhaustion. Um, I don't feel like taking naps anymore. I just don't. I, I just want to keep going because I have all this stuff to do. I know that like if I take like a, an hour nap, it's going to turn into four hours, and I just want to keep living. Um, and obviously, I didn't have suicidal thoughts, but like the depression, I didn't, I didn't think I had depression until I realized I did. Um, so it's just a working recovery. I'm trying to be a workaholic, a productive workaholic, not just be in work mode all the single time, all the time. <clears throat> anyway wanted to share that I'm gonna do a video here in a second a couple of videos that are just a little less vloggy and more intentional for marketing purposes but I felt like this was an important story to share so I really appreciate everybody who watches this tell me um, just your thoughts I'll totally like let people look at my hat but there's no touching I'm just saying <laughs>